Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the month of January 2018. This month I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. Also, if you're watching this before Christmas, I have a Christmas giveaway going on. Uh, you can check the, out the video in the link below for all the details. So, uh, let's see what we have going on for you in the new year. And, all right, well... I'm not going to say anything just yet, but all right. Uh, so you start off with the Queen of Hearts, and you also have the King of Hearts as well. Uh, whenever I see uh, a Queen and a King of the same suit come up, uh, it could represent a perfect relationship coming in for you, like a soulmate level relationship. Look at this, Ten of Hearts. So yeah, definitely something very good happening. This this would represent a change in direction in love as well. I'd say if you're in a relationship, you could be leaving the relationship for some of you. Uh, you actually have really really good cards this month. Uh, really good. I'm actually surprised for you, Virgo, because I know you've been going through a lot of challenges and things like that but this could represent a change in direction of love for the better this could also have you uh, thinking about wanting loyalty uh, wanting somebody who is loyal to you wanting somebody who will like you know be there for you and all those other things as well this could also represent family so some of you could be having a child or wanting to have a child as well and so this could represent children uh, on top of all that if you're not interested in love this could be really really good for work uh, this can represent fortune after difficulty and queen of hearts could represent a new job or new financial opportunities that kind of uh, take you to the next level this month so i really like to see that it uh, could also represent a move as well Again, Queen of Hearts change in direction, and Ten of Hearts can just represent travel. So some of you could be thinking about traveling or moving. Uh, next, you have the King of Hearts, and let's see what else, and the Queen of Clubs. I feel like you're very attracted to somebody. Again, this isn't a love reading. This is just a general reading. I will be putting out love readings for the first half of the month and financial readings separately, but uh, this is kind of just a general overview. It doesn't seem to be focused on love. Uh, I feel like you're very attracted to somebody, or there is somebody who you're very drawn to as well. Um, and I just feel like you could be thinking about this person. And uh, they could be older than you. They could be younger than you, uh, you know, with both of these cards here. But I do feel like there's a very strong connection, very strong sexual connection as well with the Queen of Clubs. I feel like you're very attracted to this person. What I would say is with the Queen of Clubs, it could represent the fact that there is some sort of, like, uh, there needs to be some sort of planning uh, to get this relationship to work out in some way. So I would just say there needs to be some sort of plan. Uh, other than that, these two cards could represent moving. Uh, King of Hearts, card of the home. And uh, Queen of Clubs could just represent uh, you moving for love, actually. You know, like I said, actually, looking at all these cards, some of you could be literally moving for love, or you could be moving somewhere um, to w that you are passionate about in some way. So, you know, because, again, if it's not love, it would be passions. You just have all these cards of passions and things that you're passionate about. Um, I would also say that... Um, you know, this is a card of uh, getting involved in your own life, the Queen of Clubs, so and uh, King Hearts, passion. So like I said, I feel like if you have any passions or anything you want to work on this month, I do feel like you're going to be getting very involved in a passion or a passion-based project or business or work, and I feel like you'll be doing a lot of that kind of work. I would also say this card says make yourself as attractive as possible to work. That doesn't mean, like, how you look. Uh, it could, because obviously you want to dress to impress, but, you know, a potential business. But it could also just represent you know, uh, touching up your resume, making changes to your resume, or, you know, doing something like that. Uh, next, two arts, more love. So a perfect match. I feel like some of you are thinking about a perfect match um, that you had. Uh, this could be from the past as well. Jack of Spades. Uh, Jack of Spades is kind of like the Six of Cups. It's kind of, not really, but kind of. So it could be somebody from the past that you're thinking about with this two hearts here. And um, you could be thinking about how it was like a soulmate connection. For others of you, this is you just finding somebody where you feel like a child with that person. Uh, again, this is a card of the child. Some of you, again, could be having a child. Up, obviously, with these cards, I'd say if you don't want to have a child, I would be very careful if I were you right now for this month, January. Um, but again, this is a card of like wanting to ha be with somebody where you can be more playful, more fun. And again, this could have you thinking about that right there, just somebody that you had a very playful relationship with. This could also, again, be talking about passions, obviously. Uh, this is what you wanted to do when you were four years old. This comes up for you every single night, practically, in the daily readings that I do for you, Virgo. And Two Hearts just says it's a perfect match. Whatever it is that you wanted to do when you were a child is exactly what you should be doing uh, with your life, is what these cards are saying. You and Leo are like the two signs that get that message all the time. Uh, next, for your challenges, money. <laughs> I feel like for this is also comes up for you all the time in the dailies, is that money could be a challenge for you. Um, you know, having the money to do something you want, having the money to be together with somebody, or you know, just being able to pay your bills could be a challenge for you. Three of Diamonds just says, be careful of your paperwork. It just says, watch your paperwork. 
make sure you're not making any mistakes with your paperwork. Two of diamonds, again, coming up in a challenge position like this, could just be saying that you have two twos also, which is really nice. It, it's actually good. Again, it's coming up in a challenge position, but this could say that you're hope, like you need or you feel like you need a large chunk of money to be able to do something. So again, obviously, if you want to move, that could require like a large chunk of money and maybe you just don't have it right now. It, or if you want a, if you want to, um, you know, start a new business, same thing. Maybe you need a large chunk of money. Maybe you have a bunch of debts or a bunch of things that you're just trying to get past. And that's kind of my feeling for you, Virgo, is that you're trying to get past something so that you can have what you want in life. And again, that could be the challenge. Uh, your solution is you have the six of hearts and the ten of clubs. So learning, um, I would say learning on both of these cards. I feel like learning new tricks, new techniques, and new ways to kind of work would be very successful for you. Ten of clubs does suggest that there is going to be um, a, a great move forward forward in pro like with progress. Ten of Clubs is my card of leaps and bounds of success. It says you will be jumping forward, making some sort of huge leap here. So it does seem like there's going to be something that happens. Six of Hearts also suggests a turnaround for you. So it does say that there will probably be a turnaround a change in the energy that will allow you to move forward in a much better way. So again, I feel like there's a turnaround. This card does say that you could be a little bit stalled out though. You know, it does say that you could be kind of like waiting around and just not seeing the changes. This card says, hey, now all those challenges have been lifted. So it's time for you to start moving forward. Like, you know, trying new business ideas, new work ideas, new relationship ideas, whatever. Again, speaking of the Six of Cups, this is basically the Six of Cups. So uh, again, some of you could be thinking about somebody from the past, obviously, with all these cards. I feel like saying obviously for your reading. I I feel like all this is pretty obvious to you, maybe, or you're just thinking about these things. Uh, also, card of moving, also card of moving. So, tons of travel, tons, tons and tons of moving going on here. And I would also say friends as well. Ten of Clubs, friends comes up for you all the time. So, friends are obviously important for you at this time, or they will be important. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, uh, this card also represents learning and needing to learn as much as you can to improve your situation. So, a great time for you to learn. And your outcome, five of hearts, two of clubs, new love. I feel like you could be talking to somebody new here. Four love, three twos, that's pretty good. And I also feel like, or I feel like you know, I feel like you've found something out about love as well. For those of you that are looking for love, it's like you've found out that you truly love somebody, or, um, you know, you've kind of learned something new about past relationships. I feel like this is you talking to yourself, you know, t telling yourself that you figured something out, or uh, it could be you talking to somebody else as well. And it's like you're kind of telling them that you are interested in them or something like that, delivering some sort of news, delivering some sort of story. Five arts could be jealousy. It could talk about blocks as well or challenges. Um, you know, it's not really a bad card. It's not a good card either. So, you know, it's kind of somewhere in the middle. So some of you, again, could be talking to somebody, but again, maybe there's like distance or maybe you separated. This is a card of separation. So maybe you separated in the past. And so, you know, again, you might have to prove yourself to somebody or um, this could be a friend as well, I'm getting. So again, I feel like for some of you, there could be a friend coming back. Queen of Clubs, uh, Jack of Spades. So yeah, there definitely could be a friend from your childhood that's coming back this month. But again, I feel like you might have to prove yourself to this person. Or again, if it's a relationship, you're gonna have to like prove yourself to this person in some way is what these cards are saying. Five hearts, another card of moving. So a lot of movement for you, Virgo. A lot of stuff going on here, but I'd say it looks really good. Even if we take away the fact, like all the, you know, the fourth, the fourth card is the only card that I, you know, put a meaning on, and that could re again represent challenges. That was the two of diamonds. Even if we took away uh, the meaning of that, and we look at all these cards, like a lot of success, a lot of good stuff coming in for you. So that looks good to me, Virgo. So thank you for watching, and enjoy your month.